What's up, y'all? Your boy's back. Now, this is just a response video to Blackie Speaks' latest video, and it's called What If The Weeknd Signed To Drake. I'm going to leave a link to his video in the description if you guys haven't seen it already. Um, let's get into it. So, first and foremost, these are just my thoughts and my opinions. If you do not agree, that's totally fine. Um, if you have your own thoughts and your opinions, comment section is there for you. Um, I feel like if The Weeknd signed to Drake, he would not be where he's at right now. He would be nowhere near nowhere even close to where he's at right now and the reason i feel that way is because even though it's it might be cool to be signed to ovo i feel like it's almost like a damn prison and and let me explain why <laughs> let me explain why i say that i feel like when i look at artists like division when i look at artists like magic jordan when i even look at party next door you know and i believe there are a couple other people signed to ovo right I feel like even though they've been able to drop music, they've been able to come out with albums and, you know, write for other people and da 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 da, I still don't feel like they've been able to reach the, you know, the vast majority of people that they can reach or should be able to reach with their music. And I feel like, for example, with Party Next Door. When it comes to Party, I feel like Party is definitely an artist that if he wasn't signed to OVO, he'd be in so many different lanes, bro. He would be in so... He's a... If, if he can sit down and write for all these different artists and make all these hits for all these different artists, right? But when it comes to his own damn music, he's making the same stuff he's been making since 2013. Come on, bro. Come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the notoriety is cool when you sign the OVO and everything, but I don't feel like they, they actually really progress like they should over there. Same The same uh, way I feel about Division and Magic Jordan. I feel like when it comes to OVO, there's like a certain structure, a certain level of, okay, you're going to stay at this point and that's it. You're not going to... There's no room for growth unless you're Drake. There's no room for testing out the waters with different sounds and different things unless you're Drake, you know? And that's why I feel like if The Weeknd signed to OVO, it, it would be the same thing, you know? The Weeknd would not have been able to grow as an artist individually. The Weeknd would not have been able to create his own sound, find his own sound, figure out what works and what doesn't work. He'd be writing for Drake, he'd be writing for other artists, and then when it, com when it comes time for his own music, barely any promotion barely any recognition people would know who the weekend is people would listen to his music but it wouldn't have the same impact as beauty behind the madness you know it wouldn't have the same impact as trilogy it wouldn't have the same impact as uh star boy or after hours or uh my dear melancholy you know um kiss land all of his albums all of his albums it would not have that same impact his albums would come out people would listen to it and then it would move on you know, the same thing that people do with Division and Magic Jordan and Party Next Door. They listen to their albums for a time being and then they move on. You know, of course, for me, I stick with their albums. Of course, there's always going to be people that stick with their albums. But I'm saying there are people in this world who listen to these guys. They say, oh, that's cool. But then they just inevitably they did. You know what I'm saying? Um, But for the weekend, bro, if he really did sign with OVO, <laughs> I don't even think we would have got a damn kiss land if he signed the OVO. I don't think we would have we would have got anything like the stuff we have now if he signed the OVO, bro. I really don't. I feel like a lot of the stuff we would have gotten from um the weekend would have been features and no room to grow basically. You know, no room to try anything different. And then if he did try something different, it would not be Oh my goodness, man. And honestly, I feel like that's why a lot of artists are going independent now because they want that freedom. You know, they want that freedom to actually do things for themselves and not be tied down to a certain, you know, a certain structure or certain, okay, this is the music you're going to make and that's it. If you want to try something else, no, um, the, the boss, the head of the the face of everything, he's the only person that's able to try different things and whatever, even though... We're not going we not we not even gonna get into Drake right now. But fact of the matter is this, right? The weekend made the best decision possible by going his own way and not signing to OVO. Because I don't even wanna think 
about what the hell <laughs> he would be doing right now if he was signed to OVO. Honestly, if he was signed to OVO, probably after like a year or two, he would be out. He would he would be like, okay, hold on now. This is ridiculous. He'd be gone. <laughs> He'd be out. Um, but yeah, man, that's that's just how I feel. You know, would not be on the any magnitude or every or any level like he is now. And um again, I feel very happy that he is where he is right now. And he again he bet on himself and he said, Yo, I'm gonna do this myself. I'm not gonna I don't need y'all. I'm good. <laughs> you know? Um I still hope that him and Drake can possibly drop a song together soon. That'd be great. Um, I know it might not be on the magnitude of the older tracks from like 2011, 2012 days, whatever. I don't care about any of that. I just want new music. Um, but, you know, as in, in conclusion, um, The weekend is great where he's at right now. And um, <laughs> I don't think he would be in a good position if he was signed to OVO. All right. So y'all let me know in the comment section, man, your thoughts and your opinions on the video. What do you think would have happened if The Weeknd signed to OVO? Are you happy that he didn't sign to OVO? Um, do you wish that he signed to OVO? Just give me your thoughts, your opinions. If you guys enjoyed today's video, do make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more. As always, join the squad. Thank you for watching. Uh, links to all my social medias in the description. Um, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace.